Hi, I'm Susan, and this is what I'm making today. I made homemade French bread, and I'll have that video listed in my description box. And now I want to make cheesy French bread to go with a, lasa a ravioli lasagna that I made of a recipe that my friend Cooking with Sherry made. So I'm taking a stick of softened butter, a half a cup of mayonnaise, and a clove of garlic, and I just used a teaspoon of the minced garlic. And I'm starting off with about two cups of mozzarella cheese. I just eyeballed it, and I'm just giving it a good mix. And then I'll add the other cup to it for a total of around three cups. I like mine good and cheesy. Now I'm going to split my bread lengthwise, and I'm just using one loaf of this bread. My recipe makes two loaves, but I'm going to split it lengthwise, and I'm going to pull out some of the bread on that thicker slice in, from the center so it won't be quite so thick. I'm sorry I'm out of frame, but I'll move it back. But see, I just pulled this bread out, and then I'm going to add my filling to it. And I will move the pan over in just a minute so that you can see. Now, now I realize that I was out of frame. And I'm just going to spread my filling over both slices of bread. Now that I've got my filling spread on, I'm just going to grate some fresh Parmesan over both sides. And then I'm going to put it into my preheated oven that I had at 375. And I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And here's how it looks. It's so gooey and cheesy and wonderful. Now I'm just going to slice it with a pizza cutter and we're ready to eat. If you just want this without the uh, spaghetti or whatever, it'd be great to dip with marinara. And here's what it looks like. It was wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And until next time, bye y'all.